642 on Daybreak and now a story about a man with a dream for a utopian community, a place he called Model City. And although that dream was never fully realized, you can still find it on a map in Niagara County. But as we find in this week's unknown story of Western New York, while his intentions may have been for a utopia, his legacy is one of devastation. Call it the draw of the falls, but in 1893, a man with a plan entered the picture in Niagara County. Model City was the brainchild of a man named William Love. But his idea was for more than just another community. Where everything would be inclusive. I mean, all the schools, stores, churches, everything would be right in that area. People wouldn't have to travel for employment. And all of that would be powered by Niagara River water redirected north and over the escarpment. It would create like a waterfall, just like Niagara Falls, and they would use that to generate the electric power. Love estimated that two million people would someday live in the town. The area would encompass 30,000 acres stretching from Ridge Road on the south to Lake Ontario on the north and from the Niagara River east to near Ransomville. The first shovels broke ground in 1894. Originally, there were actually dozens of houses and dozens of structures built. There was a church, there was a school, um, there were stores, and most of what is there now um, is just a very, very small percentage of what was originally built. That's because after initial momentum, a number of factors combined to slow the progress. Financial instability in the country caused investors to back out, and the growing availability of hydropower eliminated the need for the canal. Only one mile of the canal was built. Model City stalled for decades until the U.S. government bought up a huge chunk of it for a factory that first produced TNT for the war effort and eventually stored radioactive waste from the Manhattan Project. And then, of course, Love's Canal would become known to the world as Love Canal. The one-mile stretch was used as a dump, ultimately by large chemical companies, and then it was filled in and redeveloped, only to have that contamination seep out into people's yards and basements. What started as an idea for utopia wound up one of the worst environmental disasters our nation has ever seen. There's a legacy there, but it's not positive. And today, the reminders are still all around. Much of the Love Canal neighborhood remains undeveloped. And in Lewiston, there's still Model City Road and even a Model City Post Office. But William Love's original plan is now filed away in the unknown stories of Western New York. Really seems like William Love was just the victim of some bad timing in all of this. And now the aftermath is something that Niagara County is still dealing with. Yeah, I mean, as he was coming up with this plan and actually digging the canal, a man named Nikola Tesla was coming up with a way of transmitting hydroelectricity, and that kind of made Love's idea, or at least part of it, obsolete before you could even finish it. Hmm.